Hello everyone. Uh, this is the second video that I um, speak in English. Uh, this one um, showing how I fixed the Trio integrated amp integrated amplifier model uh, KA3000. Uh, this is the transistors that I replaced it and two, resi two resistors um, is the, this are transistor that I replaced originally I uh, the, the amplifier just got a uh, uh, left channel the right channel is not working and uh, it gave a lot of popping sounds I couldn't find the uh, the manual for KA three thousand. The one that crosses uh, data sheet that I got is uh, KA seventy one hundred. Um, just would like um, to see how can I how I could set the bias uh, on the amplifier section. So. This is how the schematic that I compare it to the one KA three thousand. Um, so I click on uh, the voltmeter and connect it uh, one channel first, uh, which is the right one that I fixed. I replaced the transistor as you noticing there are two transformer for this amp um, I guess it's uh, the original transformer is 110 volt and the other one is uh, 200 to 110 volt transfer transformer stepping down and turn the Make a connection, set the volume to about half, and connect my meter set to millivolts to the right speaker connection. Okay. And I also connect the uh, another uh, voltmeter to the bias position as the manual suggests ok um, it seems like I don't have uh, enough clip so I'll just oh. Okay, um, I got the the more connection connected. So um, okay, as you can see, the output is minus one hundred millivolts. That's a, a little bit high for uh, the manual suggests about you know, 20 to 40 millivolts. But um, let's, let's see the left channel. About the same, about 100, 102 millivolts on the speaker connections. Try to adjust it. Doesn't seem to change much. Um, I got it down to about 80, 
90 some millivolts so and um, that's that's about it okay let's um, try to connect to the speakers see how it works how it sounds like I said previous, uh, I got uh, the first time I got this amplifier. Um, the right channel is kind of you know, give a lot of popping noise, popping sounds. Um, uh, when I connect it to the speaker, no input at all actually. I play the small MP MP3 players and set the mode to AUX and connect both uh, left and right uh, speakers which are uh, bookshelf speakers JVC okay, and I also measure uh, connect the uh, millivolmeters to it The right channel is, seems to be okay. That's the right speaker. This is the left speaker. Okay. This is working. I guess the. Um, this amplifier is about uh, 15 to 20 watts each span channel. Sounds pretty warm. About one minute, so I can check the temperature on the both transistors. 32, 35, 32. Seems to be okay. Thirty-six. That's the resistor. Resistor. Dot. I also replaced on the left channel. 35 Celsius it's about the same on both so I can touch them just a little bit warm Model is the uh, KA thirty one hundred, not thirty, not KA three thousand. So this is the page that I related to uh, this to do the bias current adjustment. Seems sounds okay after all. Fixed this time actually last year. The video was uh, left in my um, 
uh, folded for quite a while, so I decided to uh, put it on YouTube. All the songs are in Thai because uh, this is really very old song. Thai old song. Like 40 years ago. Small box is frequency generator, which I um, uh, this is a one K fixed frequency generator. I uh, just give it a try to um, see how it's uh, gonna the amplifier. Is going to generate uh, uh, any side, night side curve on the scope. Connect the output. Uh, that's the scope. Uh, clip. Put on channel one on the scope. My scope got two channels. That's one K frequency. So I didn't test how the signals uh, if I crank it up you know, and it's supposed to clip but uh, I think I only put out about uh, 200 millivolt peak to peak the curve is ok looks nice Here the channel, the left channel. See the input and the output compare. Okay, I put the input from uh, 1K frequency generator on channel 1 and the output the left uh, speaker is on channel 2 on, on the scope oh, okay this is it thank you for watching